Hi guys, welcome to your lesson on an introduction to alternative energy sources where your objective is make predictions about future social, political, economic, cultural, and environmental impacts that may result from future scientific discoveries and technological innovations. So on the last lesson, you learned about what an innovation is, right? It's a new idea that can help solve a problem that's never been thought of before. And you learned about the American railroad system and how that was a very um, innovative technological innovation that helped society a lot. And this time, you're going to focus on um, alternative energy sources. So they're very, very related. And uh, I'm not really concerned with the fact that you might be able to memorize different forms of alternative energy sources, but by the end of the lesson, you're going to be creating and predicting, which are two higher, higher level thinking skills of the pyramid of thinking. And it's going to, you know, force you to think deeply. And remember, that's where we always want to live in the realm of thinking. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to set up your notes page in your ISN on page 23. You're going to title it Alternative Energy Sources. And you are going to create a foldable like this. Um, now, I say you're going to create a foldable. If you want to create your notes a different way, go right ahead. This is just um, a way that a lot of students need so that it will reinforce what what you're writing down and when you when, when you do a foldable the information is going to kind of stick better and also you can put more information into a foldable in an organized way than you can by just writing it down but it's your choice so this is how the foldable is set up it's got th three flaps on each side and the titles of each type of alternative energy sources are on the front and then the inside looks like this. So what you wanna do is gather your materials for your foldable and fold up and cut your foldable, label your foldable, and you want to press pause in order to do that. And then when you finish creating your foldable and you're ready to take notes, press play again on the module and you can know what to do for your notes. So, what you want to do is when you go to the module or go through the module step by step, you'll have a couple of videos to watch and you can use the videos to help you um, include your notes. And there's also a website that will be linked in your module that you can go to to help you. And I want you to use that website um, to help you create your notes. I want you to be including three facts for each type of alternative energy source. Just three, okay? And then answer the following question on the last flap of the foldable. Which one, which alternative energy source do you think has the potential to sustain the largest number of people? So you gotta think. Now that I have all this information on alternative energy sources, which one do I think is the best? Which one do I think can keep the most number of people's lights on in a big, huge city like Detroit, New York, Dallas, Quebec, Toronto, okay? You gotta think, in an urbanized city, which alternative energy source would make everything work with keep everybody's lights on that's what you gotta think you gotta make a decision you gotta make a judgment you have to have an opinion you gotta just think okay and you're gonna answer that question in your foldable now the second part of this is creating remember we always want to do something with our notes and that helps us really deeply think about what we've done so what you're gonna do is create a digital poster to advertise and or promote one of the alternative energy sources. Remember, you gotta think, which one is the best? Which one do I think is the best? You gotta think that to yourself, okay? And 
you can do this any way you want to guys I have given you three options but if you want to do a your show your learning in a different way or show the one alternative energy source that you've picked in a different way other than a s'more flyer or a thing link or a word cloud go for it it's up to you I'm not saying that these are only things you can do just choose something that you like or that you think that you can show your thinking the best and do it I want you to submit this to two places two the first place is canvas there will be a place in the module that says the best alternative energy source and you're gonna put a link to your whatever it is there I also want you to create a blog post that basically showcases what you've done so that more than just me can see it and that your peers can give you comments on because they will see it as well so let me show you how that looks like when you go to your module you'll see that there will be a link to all of the things that I just told you in the video there will also be a link to the blog that will take you straight here and I've put a post in the classroom blog that's titled alternative energy sources and I've also hashtagged it, ha hashtagged it energy and I'll show you how to hashtag right now when I click on my post that I did I'm gonna go up there to edit it and then if I go all the way down and do you see that word that says tags at the lower left hand corner corner that's where you're gonna list words that kind of like are the topic y'all know what hashtags are so I want to hashtag this energy boom and then I'll click on your side it'll say publish so we publish it and then boom what this looks like for everybody else though is when I go over here to search post all I have to do is type in the word energy and all of the posts that are hashtagged energy will be there instead of everyone's this is my life or this is what I did for tic-tac-toe several weeks ago it'll just be okay I want to see everyone's energy post so just tag it energy and then that's how we can find everybody's energy post got it so you're doing that so that everyone can see what you've done and then when you go into these posts guys or these other you know other students posts I want you to go down and comment on them hey you did a great job on this this and this I really liked how you added this I really liked your idea on how you created a thing you know such and such hey I have a question how did you do that you know make everything is collaborative everything is giving each other feedback this remember this things that you do in my class are not just for me I don't need to just see this and then grade it and give it you a hundred or whatever the grade is and then we never ever see it or talk about it again this is for the purpose of a larger audience than just me and I hope by now that you understand that's the way that I teach and that's how learning should be in, in the first place so you'll have that to do and then finally once you've done that you are going to have a discussion board and you can even do this discussion board before you do your your product anyway the question will be which alternative energy source do you think has the potential to sustain the largest number of people make a judgment and justify your reasoning which is pretty much what you're doing with the creation of the whatever it is you're making like the thing link or the s'more guys you can even do a left-hand assignment of page on page 23 on the left and do like a one pager and draw it out and put captions and then take a picture of it and then upload it you can do it simple as that but this is just a way for us to discuss it okay all right guys that is it I am so proud of the work and the progress that you're doing and I want you to keep it up the whole week stay tuned for the next module bye